the autobus Charlie La Parada. Yeah, not bad, eh? I'm beginning to learn this Spanish, you know. Mm. Uh, is that what's so good, Cyril? What's it mean? It means what time does the last bus leave the depot? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right. It's a silly booming question to ask in any language, isn't it? Yeah, especially when you won't understand their reply when they tell you. Oh, yes, I will. I've got the stock answers here. Mm. The last bus leaves at one o'clock. Or two o'clock. <laughs> or three o'clock. Or four o'clock. Or five o'clock. Oh, blimey, it's the same as in England, isn't it? Yeah. They don't know what time it leaves. You miss them buses, don't you? Go on, admit it. You miss being an inspector. Yeah, I've retired out here, and I, to Spain, for the rest of my life, forever. Well, I never thought you'd leave them buses behind you. Yeah, I did many a time. All I had to do was jump off and walk. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Maria, I'll try my Spanish out on her. Go on. <laughs> Buenos dias, Marina. Buenos dias, senor. Thank you, understand. Buenos dias, señora. Qué día más bueno. Espero que usted y su hermano contenta de vivir en España. Se puede ayudar en la dicha. I better look up a few more uh, words here. I think. You didn't understand a bit of it. Well, she spoke so bloody quickly, didn't she? Yes. Well, tell her not to sweep dust all over me like what she did yesterday. Oh, I know that one. I know the word for dust. Yeah, uh, Maria. Uh, Señor. Mia Manus. Uh, dite. Sí. Uh, que por favor. No terror. El pelvo. Antina de nostras. Sí, sí. Yeah, I think she understood. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Stop. Stop. Do it somewhere else. Do that somewhere else, will ya? Senor. Oh, come on in, Carlos. Buenos dias, senor. I bring you your Sunday newspaper. <laughs> Buenos dias. Don't must I ask, Carlos? Buenos dias, senorita. <laughs> senorita. <laughs> Dinara. Oh, 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 Cyril, I'm never going to get used to getting the Sunday paper on a Friday. I keep thinking that tomorrow's Monday when it's Saturday and then it's Sunday and the whole week's gone. Here. Oh, look. Oh, no, there's a whole piece missing from this paper. That is the censor that cut it out, senorita. Huh? Well, the censor wouldn't cut this out, would he? Look, the headline says, Secretary says, My boss spanked my bottom every day. Oh, disgusting. No wonder they cut out the article. It's not the article they cut out, it's a picture of this young lady's bottom. <laughs> no, no, senor, it is not the woman's bottom that is cut out, it is what is on the other side. The other side? I ain't got that in you, eh? No, 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 <laughs> The other side of the photo. Yeah. There, that is what the censor cut out. Well, he wouldn't cut that out either, would he? Look, Gibraltar will stay British, says the foreign minister. Gibraltar is a very sensitive area, senor. Mm, so is that young lady's bottom. <laughs> Cyril, stop it. Yeah. Carlos, I think it's disgraceful. Never happened in England. Uh, but it did. He says there, yeah. the young woman's bottom was spent in Birmingham. I meant the censorship. Here! Hey! Oh, no, look. They cut out part of the TV programme guide. Now I won't be able to see what's on. Well, what do you want to see what's on, Port for God's sake? You ain't got a telly. I know that, but... I keep seeing all them programmes in my mind's eye. Oh, Bob Monkhouse, Bruce Forsyth, Huey Green. Oh, I keep on seeing them all the time. No wonder you look so blooming miserable. <laughs> I don't think I can settle here. Not without my telly. We do have television in Spain, senorita. Yeah. I could get you one. Cyril, Cyril, could we? You talking about Spanish television? Don't make me laugh. It's all church service, isn't it? We like watching stars on Sunday, seven days a week. Oh, I'd like that. No, it is not all the church, senor. I mean, sometimes we have the bullfight. Bullfight? Oh, no, no, I couldn't watch that. Make me feel quite sick. Uh, my sister's rather sensitive, you know. She used to faint at the Oxo commercial. <laughs> no, we don't want television. Spanish television's very expensive, you know. No, 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 senora. I mean, I could get you a brand new, guaranteed second-hand television set <laughs> from the highest trained expert in the town. Yeah, who's he, then? That is, uh, my brother-in-law. Your brother-in-law? He's a plumber. Uh, but that was last week. <laughs> no, thank you very much. No, we we'll forget about the television. Oh. Bonus day, is Ah, uh, adios. Adios, senores, senorita. We don't want no blooming television. I came out here to get away from it. But we've got nothing to do here of an evening. Of course we have. We don't want to sit here night after night glued to the little box like we did in England, do we? Yes, we do. Oh, don't talk to me, Daft. There's plenty of exciting, marvellous things to do out here. Want to learn to live again. Rediscover life. 
Yes, yes, indulging creative pastimes. We we'll sit here night after night after night for the rest of our blooming lives doing the same old thing over and over again, do we? No. <laughs> oh, God, you have to keep making all that noise. Well, I've got to do something of an evening, haven't I? And do you have to make that noise? Well, I've got to try and get this out, ain't I? I ain't had it out since we've been here. <laughs> All right, then. I can knit. Eight blooming weeks we've been here now. And you've knitted four bed jackets. <laughs> 80 degrees at midnight and you're knitting woolly bed jackets. Cyril, look, it's the only knitting pattern what I've got. I copied it out from Mrs. Baxter before we left home. I can't understand them Spanish ones. They are, see? That's finished. Well, you shouldn't use them big needles. Well, so as I can knit them quicker that way. Well, what do you want to knit them quicker for? We're going to be out here for the rest of our lives, aren't we? Oh, C Cyril, here. Do you think we'll be sitting here in this same room in, in 20 years' time? No, we won't be able to get in the blooming room in 20 years' time. It'll be full of them bed jackets, will it? <laughs> Cyril, please don't joke. I, I keep thinking about the... the end. What end? Oh, you know. The end. Oh, don't be so blooming morbid. Well, you... you will have me flown home. You did promise, didn't you? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I promised. See, once I'm back in England, I, d I don't mind if you have me cremated. Well, can't you have it done out here? Here? Why? They're not going to take your home as hand luggage. <laughs> <laughs> Show some respect. Oh, I've got to do something to keep my mind busy. Who's that at this time of night? Senorita, I have good news. Oh. There is something about England in the Spanish newspaper. Oh. Yeah, well, it can't be good news then, can it? Or the censor would have cut it out. No, it is about a British television programme to be shown here, in it, Spain. Is it? Well, which one is it? Uh, you may not know it. You're talking about she knows them all backwards. Which one is it? Well, I cannot afford the television, so I do not see the programme. Um, ah, here. It is in Spanish. It is called The Top and The Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> there is a photo here. What are you talking about, top and bottom? That's upstairs, downstairs. <laughs> it is a good television show. Oh, yes, it's one of my favourites. <sighs> when I see this, I say to my brother-in-law, now the senorita will have the television. Well, if we can get English programmes, yes. You see, senorita. Hang about. Oh, I'm not spending all that money just to watch upstairs, downstairs. But we have beautiful Spanish programmes. No. Artistic and sensitive. No. Just right for you, senorita. I can see that you are artistic and sensitive. Oh, well, gracias, Carlos. Yeah, well, yes, I, I always did watch Come Dancing, and then I, I... Dancing, we have the Spanish flamenco. Flamenco. You know the flamenco? Yes, see. With the heels and all the colours and the dancing. Arquete corricaya no cota, arria fui, arcotastoy, fey, arcotastoy. Blooming nonsense and get out of here. I'm not spending my good money on any bloody story, George. Senor, for you, from England, we have the fighting, the stabbing, and the murders. I don't like programs like that. I like normal stuff, mate, like football. Oh. I was talking about football. No. Cyril, I've made up my mind. I want a television. No. Look, if I've got to live here in Spain, I want a television. Don't drive me mad. If you don't let me have one, I shall go home to England. No. You said you could get one cheap. Si, si, senor. Ah, oh. uh, cheap. Very cheap, senor. Please. Oh, all right. Oh. We'll have one for a week on approval, oh. just to see it. Right now. Yeah, right now. This is manana land, mate. We'll be lucky if we see that set in a week. It is the set, senor. Oh. <laughs> I said to my... I said I did not want to keep the senorita waiting, so I have my brother... In-law, have it ready outside, you see. 
Señorita, I'd like you to meet my brother-in-law. Juan. Señorita. <laughs> He's a very good engineer. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> This particular television, señorita, it has um, a good, good uh, quality. This is the way. Oh, yes, look, there's England. Oh, it shows the sun shining in England. There must be something wrong with the ship. No, 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 it shows rain in Spain. This is the news, you know, the news. Look, it turned the sound down, old chap, but I can't stand it, Spanish rabbit. <laughs> Huh? Oh, God. It's Harold. Uh. He's a comedian? Yeah, well, he's always good for a laugh. Look, Teddy. Another comedian. Oh, look. He's a, a musical clown. Uh, yes. You know them well? Uh, too blooming well, mate. <laughs> it's because of them we came out here to get away from them. You see, it is good for you to buy the television, senor. Yeah. <laughs> Hang up, out. I ain't said I'm gonna have it yet. How much is it? One say he let you have it for only 15,000 pesetas. Yeah. 15,000 pesetas? It's what you having me on. That's 100 blooming pounds. Go and take it out of it. Oh, zero. Well, I'll give you 10,000 pesetas. Here, tell your brother-in-law I'll give him 10,000 pesetas for it. Solo te dan 10.000. ¿Qué? ¿10.000 pesetas? Yeah. Son un puñado de ladrones. ¿Qué piensan? ¿Cómo es posible darlo por menos? Me la llevo y diles que son unos tontos idiotas ingleses. ¿Qué dijo? No. Cero. Cero, no la más tarde, televisión. I've only got 10,000 blooming pesetas there. Eh? Oh, that was that's 70 pounds, you know. That's more than that set's worth. Pardon, senor. This is a very good television set. You will not see better anywhere in Spain. The... <clears throat> you will not see better in Spain anywhere than this mother. Could we spend a bit more? I've only got 10,000 pesetas. Don't drive me raving, man, for God's sake. That's all I've got. We've got to have something left for emergencies, haven't we? This is not plastic, senor. This is real. Solid. Solid. Solid wood. Don't keep bashing a blooming thing like that. Television's a delicate instrument. Well, no, senor, this is a very strong set. You see, it can take the hardest of knocks. Oh, I, I'd set my heart on having it. Sería un mejor viéndolo rápido. Sí, de acuerdo. Senorita, because it is for you, and we do not wish to see you unhappy, we will let you have the television set. 10,000 pesetas. For only 10,000 pesetas. Oh, Carlos, gracias. Cyril, isn't that nice? You see, it is true what they say about the Spanish. They are generous and warm-hearted. You will be very happy with this set, senorita. Oh, I'm sure we will. <laughs> Give him the money. Well, I don't know. 10,000 is a lot of blooming money, you know. Pardon, senor. Gracias, gracias. I am sure you will have many hours pleasure on this television set. <laughs> bags in that teapot, see? That way we'll be able to tell the difference between the tea and the water. Yes. <laughs> Cyril, isn't it lovely, sitting here drinking tea and watching the telly? Yeah. Just like being back home. Well, what do you want to put the birdcage right in front of me like that for? Well, you know my Clara loves watching the telly. What? Oh, don't talk to me, Dove. Well, this is one of her favourite programmes. You wait when that music starts. She'll sing with it, mm. won't you, my little darling? Here, look. It's going to start. Y seguidamente tenemos el placer de presentarles el popular programa de televisión inglesa Upstairs, Downstairs. Oh, Cyril, I think I'm beginning to understand Spanish. He said we were about to see Upstairs, Downstairs. I'd never have known. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm not surprised when you started singing, she put her wings over her ears. Oh, I am looking forward to this. Just think, it's coming from all them thousands of miles away. You know, Cyril, I think I could settle down here if we can see English programmes. Mm. <laughs> oh, look, there's Mr. Hudson. It's muy débil, ese es el problema, simplemente porque el Capitán James tiene más dinero de su madre. El abuso puso al casamiento, te has olvidado. Gracias a todos los que hay, señor de edad, y bastante independiente para desafiar a su padre. This sounds not very good. I didn't hear what he said. I'll turn it up. Ella tenía esta oportunidad para casarse y la tomó. Pobre tonta mujer. No sé lo que te pasa estos días. De verdad que no sé, Rosa. Talking Spanish? What are they talking Spanish for? Because it's shown out in Spain, I suppose. <laughs> well, it's not the same. It spoils it. Diego, si no lo nota. Oh, muy viejo. ¿Quién eres tú para decirme eso, Rosa? No importa el tiempo que haya estado en el servicio aquí. Mr. Hudson doesn't sound like himself at all. Well, it can't be easy to speak Spanish with a Scottish accent, can it? I can't enjoy it like this. Come in, Carlos. Uh, senor, I come to tell you, the program is just about us. She started. Yes, it has started, and it's all in blooming Spanish, I know. Oh, turn it off. Cyril, I can't stand no more, I can't. How dare they tamper with our program? Next thing you know, they'll all be smelling of garlic. And that poor Mr. Hudson, he'll be coming on and saying, Oh, Mrs. Bridges, is the octopus ready yet? Oh, oh look at my little Clara, she's all upset, listening to all that Spanish. What are you talking about? She's a canary. She comes from the Canary Islands. He's a Spanish bird. She's British. She was hatched out in Brixton. Well, I wouldn't call that all that British these days, would you? Oh, you'll have to take it away, Carlos. It's no use to us, is it? Not if we can't understand our own language when it's spoken in Spanish. No. Take that thing out of it, come on. I want my money back. Senor, you can have English-speaking television, everything in English. What are you talking about? You can't get English all the way out here? No, but you can get Gibraltar. I know people in another block who get it every day. Pardon. There. Oh, oh yeah. Gibraltar. <laughs> you can't blame him or see it. But that is because the antenna is in the wrong place. Here. How is that? Oh, that's a bit better. No, is still not very good. No, no. no. Uh, here? Yeah, that's a bit better. It's still not good enough, though. Hold it, hold it a bit higher and I'll adjust the fine tuning. Oh, you mind you don't get no shock? I know what I'm doing, oh. You hold that higher, mate. Uh, higher, senor. Uh, that's but it. my arm is getting tired. Well, that's stand on the chair, then. That doesn't help my arm, single. <laughs> Here? Oh! Ow! <laughs> yeah, it's a big blooming aerial. Yeah, the aerial will give you a shock. It depends on where it catches it. <laughs> God, be up. Point that aerial towards Gibraltar. Gibraltar, uh, that is this way, senor. That's it, yes. That, oh, it's coming a bit better. Here? Uh, yeah, it's not good enough, though. No. You'll have to poke it right past the metal edge of the balcony while I adjust a fine tuna. Poking, yes, I'm poking. No, it's no good. No, it's gone again. Here, lean well out with it. Lean well out. Go right out. Jesus. Sarah! <laughs> <laughs> Ariel! Down there! Where's Carla? Oh, it is! <laughs> Senor, I'm having a terrible shock. Go on. <laughs> Senor, I'm having another shock. Where's the coming aerial car? That'll be it, man. Look around. Hey, yeah. What's that black and green thing next to him? A policeman. <laughs> Is he dead? No, he's moving. Oh, oh that's all right then. Thank He's coming into the flats. Oh, perhaps he's going to bring our aerial back. He's more likely coming up here to arrest us and take us into prison. What? Where's Carlos? 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 Hey, where's Carlos? It's him! It's him. It's no good. 
I better let him in. He'll smash the door down. He can't, not without no warrant. What are you talking about? We're in Spain, not Bogner. This <laughs> day is Suante now. No, no, sir, not ours. No, I've never seen it before in my life, old mate. <laughs> Senor, the policeman is gone. He's gone? Si, si. What's going on, senor? This antenna is from them. Is this your area? No, no. Si, si. Si, si. Will you shut up? Oh, no. They are going to kill me. Assassins. What's he saying? What's he saying? They say you murder him. You try to kill him. Oh, no, Carlos. Tell him accidentally. 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 Tell him we're trying to get you brought up. He will die. I think that was a mistake. <laughs> hey, you don't understand, old chap. We was trying to get a, a better signal. Signal, yeah. signal, Sabby. And don't this on the spies, eh? He thinks you are spies. Is huh? that worse than being murderers? Alto! Man's a cabeza! What's, what's he saying? Put your hands on your head. Oh, don't be blooming silly, mate. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Don't, don't argue with him, come on. I'm not! What, what's he going to do? I hope he is searching for weapons, senor. I right, watch it, you. These Spaniards are funny, you know. Oh, he's still there! They get arrested in England for doing that. Cyril, he isn't going to touch me like that, is he? Cyril, Cyril, please stop him. Sir, don't you dare touch my head! Oh, what should I do? Under right the circumstances, I should cooperate. He's <laughs> okay, sir. He's got my knitting pattern. <sighs> Pitu, Kefor, Kefor, Pitu. What's he saying? He thinks it's a secret code. Oh, tell me, Plumbing May. Tell him, go on. Do uh, tell him that. Sir, it is a knitting pattern. Mrs. Baxter's. She was at the same till as what I was when we worked as cashiers in the co op. It was in a magazine. I. Silencio! What? Pitu, Ketu, Pissa. Huh? Carlos. I do not understand it myself, senorita. I'll show you. You see, you have you have just one stitch on your needle, and then you I've never heard about that blooming nonsense. You tell him we're trying to get you brought up. Senor Kerian Coherty, he, he brought up. Cielo tiene. He says you have it already. He, he thinks you're trying to stop the Spanish asking for it back. No, no, sir. We were trying to get an English programme on the telly. An English programme? Si, si. Upstairs, downstairs. <laughs> La 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 I told you all from folk you never could sing properly, could you? Let me tell him, senor. Crean coge, il programma de inglés, Gibraltar. El que está echando en España. Sí. Upstairs, downstairs. La 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 Eh, señor Hudson, you rose. Uh, muy bien, muy bien, lo veo otra semana. Le pregúntale a la señora lo que le pasó a la señora Bellamy en el Titanic. You must know what happened to Mrs. Bellamy on the Titanic. She'd had an affair with a young soldier, sir. A bit on the side. On the side of the Titanic? No, I can tell you everything, sir, I can. You see, he was Captain Bellamy. He had a little love affair with the parlour maid. And then there was Paul Rose. Paul Rose, she lost her young man.